Hello everyone, this is Too Tired to Care with my annoying accomplice, Shooter882, and this is Bloodborne. Well, that's rude. I'm just here helping you. I'm helping you give. T I'm giving you tips for Bloodborne. I'm giving you, you know, advice. And I'm trying to help you through it. Trying to make. You're you also like giving it. me an ulcer. Okay, well that's that's yeah, that's different, sir. That's a different. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's move on to the main thing. All right. So, what uh, is Bloodborne, Zach? Tell me. Bloodborne is from your favorite developer, from software that makes the Dark Souls franchise. Well, I've heard of them, occasionally. Anyway, I'm sure you're familiar with the game mechanics and everything that's in Dark Souls, so a lot of that's been incorporated in the Bloodborne it feels very much similar, but they also give it its own unique twist so that it makes it feel like its own game, but you could definitely feel and see elements from the Dark Series franchise rolled into this game. Yeah, from what I know, like I, I haven't never actually played it because I don't personally own a PS4, but I've watched... I've watched gameplay of it. I've watched pretty much the entire way through, beginning to end. Yeah, I'm a loser. But it seems like it's very Dark Souls-esque, but it doesn't seem like you can really compare it. Um, from what I know of it, you have, like, well, the big difference is obviously, like, the transforming weapons. Um, you have the, the gun instead of a shield. But, yeah, like, you have... It's a more aggressive combat from what I know of it. It's very... Instead of just sitting in front and tanking and taking hits hoping to wait for an opening you actually have from what i know you like wait what is it you have to if you can hit back fast enough you regain health is that right yeah they give you a chance you can see in your health bar when it turns orange that's your chance to attack and for each strike you get you get you know chunks of your health back for the amount of damage that you deal out that's actually a really cool mechanic that'd be really interesting for bosses uh yeah bosses well <laughs> would you know anything about that yeah, I would know a few things. Uh, I die a lot. Mm. That's a, that's a Souls game for you. <laughs> but the uh, the big thing about Bloodborne that really struck me is just how great the environment is, and how the world the world and the atmosphere itself is just very immersive. You really get sunk into it, and if it, it has its own taste and feel to it, it doesn't feel like a knockoff of a previous game. It definitely contains its own uh, feel to it. Yeah, it looks kind of like, not steampunkish. that's probably the worst way to probably describe it, but like... No, far from it. I don't know. It just seems very, like, that 1900s demon slayer, kind of like, it almost reminds me of Van Helsing. Am I wrong in saying that? Uh, I wouldn't say you're wrong, but I kind of could see where you're getting the idea from. Mm. So from what I know, just while I've been watching all these things, like, it seems like a really in-depth game, like... It seems like a game you can get lost in if you really try enough. I mean, yeah, I wasn't a fan of uh, Dark Souls at all just because of how really? frustrating it was. <laughs> yeah, gee, I wonder how many videos we have proof of that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I wasn't a fan, so when I hopped into this, I was expecting, you know, frustration, which did happen, but I decided to keep going, and it does have a very addictive element to it. Despite how many times you die and you have to go through and fight the same enemies to get back to the point where you died, it's it's still very rewarding, and you just want to keep keep moving through. Yeah, even like uh, it's funny because as little as you talk about these kind of games, every once in a while I'll get a, a message or like <laughs> we'll start talking, and all I hear is this fucking game, this yeah. fucking game, blah blah blah. <laughs> I was like, man, all, my only response is, did you beat a boss? Yeah. Or did you get to the next area? Yeah. Well, there you go. This is the kind of game that lingers. This is the kind of game that you think about it when you're not playing yeah that's i completely agree with that all right i, I guess let's uh let's wrap this up with a few uh trophies personal one that i'm looking forward to getting is yarnum sunrise which is you live through the hunt and saw another day how about you which uh trophy caught your interest wow <laughs> no My, don't don't you say it. i already say figured it. it out don't it's a platinum trophy called bloodborne <sighs> i'm very excited for this it is to acquire all the trophies. Hats off. That's in the description. Hats off. Now, all right, everyone. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're gonna. How much? How much money for you for you to get this trophy? So you've played it. I know how frustrating you've been for. I'll, I'll give you a hundred hundred American dollars that you can if you get this trophy. You know, this video will be, the, will be proof then that you actually owe me a hundred bucks. I'm okay with that. Get if you that can get trophy. it. Put put if the, I can, put if the I trophy get that in the video. You better freaking pay a hundred American. Put, Don't give me goddamn Canadian money. Put the trophy in the video. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoy the game. I gotta go strangle somebody. Goodbye.